I mean, not that anybody who's been paying even half-assed attention over the last ever needs it, but the last week or so of politics in Washington, D.C. should serve as a reminder uh, to everybody that the Republican Party is composed of uh, unserious people, especially when it comes to the Republican conference uh, in the House of Representatives. These are not serious people. Since uh, Kevin McCarthy was ousted as Speaker of the House, and by the way, uh, to hell with Kevin McCarthy. I'm glad that he's no longer Speaker of the House. But I mean, the problem is now they've got to pick another Republican to be Speaker of the House uh, because they still control the majority and none of them are fit for the job either. And they're so collectively unfit for the job that they're having trouble picking somebody to replace old Kevin. We even have people like Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, suggesting that Donald Trump should be the new Speaker of the House. Because, you know, technically, according to House rules, the Speaker doesn't have to actually be a member of the House of Representatives. And by the way, boy, that's a great rule. Let's definitely not change that. And Trump being Trump and being an egomaniac, you know, he has sort of flirted with it and said, oh, you know, I mean, yeah, sure, maybe, you know, if they wanted me to be speaker as the, come on, as though Donald Trump, the, the most do-nothing president in the history of the United States, would be remotely interested in being the Speaker of the House of Representatives, which is a job that does require... Uh, a certain amount of procedural competence and commitment, regardless of of how shitty your politics might be. So, you know, Trump has kind of floated his name out there or or expressed a willingness, you know, if if nominated, I will run, if elected, I will serve, kind of an anti-Sherman-esque statement. But then just last night as I'm recording this, he said, well, you know, I'll I'll endorse Jim Jordan. Jim Jordan, he'd be a great Speaker of the House. So this is the point that we're at now. We're, we're now the leading candidate to replace Kevin McCarthy, who is already a complete loss as a human being, as Speaker of the House, is Jim Jordan, who is one of the few people in the conference who who would actually be a worse choice. I saw a, a clip just this morning as I was uh, watching some videos. It was of uh, uh, Seth Meyers' uh, Closer Look segment from his show last night, where he played a clip of someone, of one of the Republicans on uh, on the House floor a couple days ago. I think it was Garrett Graves from Louisiana. And he was, you know, just just absolutely dismayed. He was up there giving one of his, his floor speeches and he said, oh, what is what has happened? You know, the, my beautiful Republican Party, what has happened? What are we doing here? What What are we doing? Are we redefining what conservatism is? And I just, I love the, the naive shock that he's expressing there. Oh God, what has become, what has become of my once beautiful, sane, reasonable Republican party? Well, what's become of it, Garrett, is the mask is off. And now everybody can see who you people really are and who you've always been. Oh, what are we doing? Are we redefining what conservatism is? No, you're not redefining it. You're revealing it. There are no good ones. They are not good people. There are no serious ones. They are not serious people. Vote them out. All of them.